The Texas Supreme Court ordered the release of a salon owner who was jailed. This was crazy. What happened down there? Well, this gal, Shelly Long, has a hair salon with, you know, a couple dozen employees. And in Texas, they decided uh, they were going to open salons this week, actually today. Well, she opened a few days early because she said she was broke and the people working for her were broke and she didn't have enough money for food. In other words, they were all starving. So she opened up a couple days early. The police showed up. They arrested her. They took her to court. This crazy judge in Dallas said, you're selfish and all you're thinking about your, is yourself. And if you can't apologize to the citizens of Texas, I'm going to put you in jail and I'm going to fine you like $7,000. She said, I don't want to go to jail, Your Honor. I've never been in trouble my whole life, but I didn't do anything wrong. Everybody that was coming was in masks. We were in masks. We were sanitizing everything. It was just a couple days early. I need the money. He locked her up. Unbelievable. Such a sensation in Texas. The lieutenant governor said, I will pay your fine. I'll go to arrest instead of you. And then it went all the way to the Texas Supreme Court, who ordered her to be uh, released from jail. And then they passed an emergency ordinance. You can't send anyone to jail for this anymore. Yep. I hope they vote the judge And I got to ask you, Barry, as an attorney, how does, some, how does a case like this, it's a pretty minor case, it's a misdemeanor, I believe, how does something like that go so rapidly from arrest to the Supreme Court? Well, the whole state of Texas was up in arms. They did an emergency hearing, and the, literally every news organization in Texas was talking about nothing else. Mass rallies everywhere across the state. I think they've raised hundreds of thousands of dollars for her legal defense. So they went in on an emergency request, and the Texas Supreme Court ordered her out in about a day and a half. God bless Texas, and I'm thrilled she's out, and I hope they vote this guy out. Unlike other states in Texas, they elect the judges. This guy's running for re-election in the fall, and I hope he has a new job come November. <music>